Hello everyone, this is Mamta Mund and today we are going to solve some exercise questions 1 to 26, exercise 4b of chapter 4, chapter name is negative numbers and integers of class 6 of composite mathematics textbook. If you have not subscribed to my youtube channel then please subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the bell icon for getting notifications of future videos and please visit my blog messgrade.com. For more information regarding the textbook solutions of CBSC, ICAC, and other state boards, if you like this, uh, if you like this video, then please click the like button. Let's get started and solve some questions. Today we will learn and solve exercise questions 1 to 26, exercise 4b of chapter 4. Chapter name is negative numbers and integers, and topics are operations on integers addition of integers and subtraction of integers. Let's solve some questions. Now question number 16, multiple choice questions MCQ. A humpback well swimming on the water surface dives 250 meter. If then dives another 75 meter, which expression represents this situation? A humpback whale swimming on the water surface dives. Dives means uh, it jumps inside the water. So it will be negative. Minus 250 meter. And if then dives another 75 meter. Then another 75 meter deep to the waters. So it will be minus 75. So option B is the correct option so uh, the expression the uh, expression will be minus 250 meter plus of minus 75 meter option, option b is the correct answer now question number 17 multiple choice question which expression has a value greater than minus 3 first we find out uh, find out all the values of this expression first option a that is 4 plus minus minus 9 4 plus minus 9 when we add two integers with a different sign we have to subtract the smaller integer from the bigger integer that is 9 minus 4 is 5 and we have to place the sign of the bigger in number bigger integer is 9 which is negative sign so we have to press the minus sign before the integer 5 so answer is minus 5 now b option b is 3 3 plus 1. We have to first add these two integers, positive integer 3 plus 1, then minus 8. 3 plus 1 is 4 and 4 plus minus 8. When we add two integers with different sign, we have to subtract the smaller integer from the bigger integer. That is 8 minus 4 is 4 and we have to place the sign of the bigger integer. That is 8 is negative sign. We have to, we have to place the sign of 8. So minus 4. Now option C, minus 10 plus 8. When we add two integers with different sign, we have to subtract the smaller integer from the bigger integer, the integer. That is 10 minus 8 is 2. And we have to place the sign of bigger integer. That is 10 is bigger integer and which is minus sign. So we have to place the minus sign before the integer 2, minus 2. And D is mm, minus 1 plus of minus 5 plus 2. First we add these two in negative integer minus 1 and minus 5. When we add two integers with equal sign that is same sign we have to add these integers without sign that is uh, 1 plus 5 is 6. And we have to place the sign of the uh, sign of these integers both are of equal sign so we have to place minus sign. Both are negative sign so we have to place negative sign before the integer 6 minus 6 plus of 2. And minus 6 plus 2 when we add two integers with different sign. That is 6 is negative sign and 2 is positive sign. Uh, 6 is positive and negative integer and 2 is positive integer. We have to subtract smaller integer that is 2 uh, from the bigger integer 6. 6 minus 2 is 4 and we have to place the sign of the bigger integer. 6 is bigger integer so we have to place the sign of bigger integer that is minus sign. Minus um, 6. So 6 is negative integer so we have to place minus sign before the integer 4. The answer is minus 4. Minus 5, minus 4, minus 2, minus 4. 
when we compare these integers negative integer the smaller integer with negative sign is the bigger integer so minus 2 is greater than minus 4 is greater than minus 5 this is a um, descending order of the negative integer that is minus 2 is the bigger number bigger in negative integer than minus 4 then minus 5 so minus 2 uh, option c so option c is the correct option now question number 18 multiple choice questions which statement is true option a the sum of two negative integers is a positive integer sum of two negative integers is a positive integer this is false because when we add two negative integers first we add the integers without sign and we have to place the sign of these integers that is both are of negative sign so we have to place the negative sign before the integer so the result will be negative integer so sum of two negative integers is a positive integer this is false so sum of two negative integers always a negative integer now option b the sum of a negative integers and a positive integer is always a negative integer sum of a negative integers and a positive integer is always a negative integer it depends on the uh, integer uh, it depends on the bigger integer that is if the bigger integer is the bigger integer is positive sign then then the result will be positive sign if the bigger integer is negative sign then the result will be negative sign so if it depends on the sign of the bigger integer if the bigger integer is positive positive sign that is it is positive then the result will be positive integer if the result uh, if the bigger sign is negative sign then the result will be negative integer so it is false so option c a sum of two negative integers is a negative integer when we add two negative integers then the result will be negative integer because when we add two negative integers minus 5 and minus 3 the result will be minus 8 because when we add two negative integers we have to add the integers without sign then we have to place the sign of these integer both are negative signs so we have to place the negative sign before the integer so this is correct option d the sum of three different integers can never be zero this is not true because it can be zero sum of three different integers that is five five minus five and zero here all three integers are different integers that is five is positive integer minus five is negative integer and 0 is 0 so when we add these integers 5 plus minus 5 plus 0 the result is 0 so it is also false so option c option c is the correct option so which statement is true option c Option C is true. Now question number 19 multiple choice questions MCQ. Uh, which sum is not negative? Uh, options are minus 38 plus minus 24. Option B minus 61 plus 43. Option C minus 53 plus 72. And option D minus 25 plus 0. Which sum is not negative? That is we have to find the positive integer not negative means positive so option b minus 38 minus 24 when we add two integers with negative sign equal sign we have to first uh, add these integers without sign that is minus and uh, that is 38 and 24 38 and 24 is 8 plus 4 12 4 plus 2 62 and we have to place the sign of these integers that is both are negative so we have to place negative sign before the integer 62 
so minus 38 plus of minus 24 is minus 62 which is negative negative integers now option b is minus 61 plus 43 when we add two integers with different sign, we have to subtract the smaller integer from the bigger integer. That is here 61 is bigger integer and 43 is smaller integer. So subtract the 60, 43 from 61. That is 11 minus 3 is 8 and 5 minus 4 is 1, 18. And we have to place the sign of bigger integer. 61 is bigger integer which is negative so we have to place minus sign before the integer 18. Minus 18 which is negative. Negative integer. Minus 18 is negative integer. Now option C. Minus 53 plus 72. When we add two integers with different sign we have to we have to subtract the smaller integer from the bigger integer. Here 72 is bigger integer and 53 is smaller integer. Now subtract uh, 72 minus 63 12 minus 3 9 and 6 minus 5 1 19 and we have to place the sign of bigger integer 72 is bigger integer which is positive sign so we have to place positive integer sign before the integer 19 now plus 19 is 19 which is positive now option d minus 25 plus 0 when we add any integer with 0, we get the integer itself. That is minus 25 plus 0 is minus 25, which is negative. So, um, from these options, uh, option C is a positive integer. Minus 53 plus 72 is a positive integer. So option C. So option C is the correct option. So minus 53 plus 72 is a positive integer. So option C is the correct option. Now question number 20 multiple choice questions MCQ. Which subtraction sentence does not have a value of minus 3? Option A. Minus 1, minus 2. When we add two integers with equal sign, we add the integers, then we have to place the sign of these integers. 1 plus 2 is 3, and we have to place sign of these integers, that is both are negative signs, so we have to place negative sign. So minus 1, minus 2 is minus 3. Option B, 4 minus of minus 1. Minus of minus is plus, 4 plus 1 is 5. This is positive. And 13 minus 16. When we add two integers with the different sign, we have to subtract the smaller integer from the bigger integer. That is 16 minus 13 is 3. And we have to place the sign of the bigger integer. 16 is bigger integer which is negative sign. We have to place minus sign before the integer 3 minus 3. And option D is minus 8 minus of minus 5. Minus 8 plus 5. When we add two integers with different sign, we have to subtract the smaller integer from the bigger integer. Here smaller integer is 5 and bigger integer is 8. 8 minus 5 is 3. And we have to place the smaller uh, sign of the bigger integer that is 8 is bigger integer which is negative sign. So we have to place the sign of minus sign before the integer 3. Now it is minus 3. Now which subtraction sentence does not have a value of minus 3? So uh, all the, from these options, option B which is value 5 which is not equal to minus 3. So option B is the correct option. So option B. So option B that is 4 minus of minus 1 which is equal to 5 is not um, equal to 5. This option does not have a value of minus 3. So option B is the correct option.
for now subscribe my youtube channel then please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any doubts then please write in comment section and i will reply keep learning keep watching and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you